Hey, Blue Jays fans, today I bring you another piece of news, this time specifically about Bo Bichette, before we start, please subscribe to the channel, it helps us a lot, let's get started. When things weren't going so well for Bo Bichette through frustrating portions of the 2022 season, there were things that would drive the Blue Jays shortstop crazy. Little things that would creep into the mind of a player who had been supremely confident in his rise to stardom at a young age, there were. External expectations that would creep into his head and conspire against him snapping out of the funk, there were frustrations of the team not meeting expectations, a mid-season slide that led to a managerial change. But most of all, there was a feeling he was slipping away from the player he could be, and then it all changed, launching into late-season Bichette breakout in which he was one of the most dangerous hitters in baseball, I just thought that I needed to finish strong, not just for myself but for my team, Bichette said in an interview. I just looked in the mirror and realized who I am. And who exactly was that, I just realized I'm really good and didn't have to prove anything to anybody or try to do anything extra. I wasn't being myself and for five months of the season I was trying to be the player that people wanted me to be. I kind of just let that go. Bo did he ever. In 29 of his final 32 games of the season, Bichette reached base safely, batting at torrid.406, 54, for 133, over that span. In the final month of the season, he led all MLB hitters in hits, 54. His 48 hits in September were the most ever by a Jays player in one calendar month, I think it was him figuring out what really makes him great, manager John Schneider said of Bichette's late season breakout. It's cool to watch a player evolve like that. It sounds selfish saying it, but him taking care of his own business allows him to do what he's great and and makes us a better team. Him understanding himself as a player, him understanding what the league is doing to him was the biggest part of that and he's carried it over to this spring. Bichette has gone about his business the past month, not as a young star finding his way in the game but as a mature player ready to pursue the ultimate success. And serious dude that he is, the recently turned 25-year-old loves how his personality fits in a revamped Jays clubhouse, it's a very professional atmosphere but it's also loose, which is a good combination, Bichette said. Winning a championship is really hard, so there needs to be a level of professionalism and that means looking to your left and to your right and seeing that the other guys feel the same way. Professionalism also means bringing more of an act like you've been there approach. Bichette was one of those who recognized the gaudy home run jacket was reaching the eye roll stage and was an advocate for its removal, I don't think, the now mothball jacket, had anything to do with how good or bad we did but I just think it's good to be consistent," Bichette said. It's tough to put that thing on when you're losing by six runs or whatever, I think it's just over. Bichette has always been super serious about his craft, a trait Schneider saw when he was managing the shortstop as a teen in the minor leagues, he's always been as focused and determined as anyone, the manager says. But with that seriousness came a maturity that helped him burst into the big leagues at a young age. Bo is a guy who is extremely talented and extremely competitive and very hard on himself, Jay's bench coach Don Mattingly said. That's just because he expects himself to be really, really good, Bo knows he can hit. He knows he's talented and he knows it in a good way, with a good attitude to do it. Reminding himself of that potential for greatness has been important. And it certainly helped flush from Bichette's mind the first truly sustained downward period of his professional life. If you look at my career, I've been really consistent," Bichette said. Last year was probably the first time I had an up and down year. But at the end of the day, I put up the numbers. Consistency is the goal for everybody. For the rest of my career, I'll be shooting to do that, going through it, you learn how to handle it. You lean on guys who have been through it a little more than you have had. I have plenty of those guys in here who can help me. He is the first Jays hitter to lead the American League in hits for two consecutive seasons, 189 in 2022 and 191 in 2021. Bichette finds himself in a comfortable place to try to make it three, I've always known the player that I could be, he says, reflecting again on his strong September. But I think I finally just became comfortable with the player that I am, so, what do you think? Comment here, have a good night.